flooring. How exactly he does that? <laughs> hey guys, it is Sunday, April 8th in Aurelia, Ontario. I decided to come down to another Valley Village, but I don't think it's cool to be filming. Um, well, people are trying to shop. It's um, I did take some pictures of the bags and the boots and scarves I was looking through. So I did get, I saw some really nice uh, Neverfuls, like Harry carryalls. But I did get a Dolce & Gabbana. So I did show the prices of some of the stuff I found. This was $5.99 for this beautiful scarf. And I got a um, poncho, or what do you really call them? They're like, um, yeah, we always call them that. I mean, the style's back in, so sorry about the 70s word, guys. I don't remember much of the 70s, but I was alive. So the other day I locked my keys in the car, and now I am doing another live in my car without a phone holder. Eventually, I will get one. In fact, I should probably go to the Walmart and look for one now. Um, Archie gets his shots tomorrow. I got down to the books to eat at the Midland Public Library before I came to Aurelia. And um, it looked beautiful. They had some live music. They had uh, the Roxy, Cafe Roxy had some food put out wine and beer for two dollars a glass and uh they look really nice they, they they put on a good little show and uh contest to see who could put out the best uh display so i caught the very tail end of that um it was 25 dollars a ticket then I decided to come to Aurelia. Joey wants his hamburger. So right now we were at McDonald's. But I also wanted to check out the Valley Village for the first time in Aurelia. I haven't been to this one. I go to the Toronto Valley Villages and the Barry, of course, and the Guelph. I used to haunt the Guelph one and all the uh, thrift stores in Guelph because I like to wear a mixture of new and vintage clothing and you can always find Gucci and Dolce & Cabana and uh, the Fendi lookalikes. There was actually a Louis Vuitton but it was just uh, a lookalike. So it wasn't a real purse. If I could have filmed without feeling like I was being intrusive I would have. Um, we'll try to do that in Toronto. I can ask the girl at the counter if it's okay first. I think that's the proper way of doing things instead of being so invasive to people that don't want to be caught on camera. Uh, I'm sure the employees, a lot of places wouldn't want their, um, their stores filmed live. So we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to film lives every day. I've been out quite a bit getting a lot of things done and, uh, getting some packaging for my business, um, playing with Archie. Tomorrow we'll have Archie on. I got to go back to the public library and uh, take in my book from Cuba. I told them I almost didn't get back alive from Cuba, but I managed to get the book back. There's a homeless shelter right behind that. I wanted to volunteer at at one point, so maybe if I can, I'll film some of that live. Um, but I'll get little Archie on camera. Uh, yeah. And maybe I didn't get my eyelash procedure live or videotaped for my channel, but I'll see if they'll vid videotape the uh, Juvederm. I don't know, again, if that gentleman, the doctor, Dr. Dickey and Barry wants to be filmed live. I'll have to ask his permission. Uh, maybe we won't get his face on live. Maybe we'll just get me getting the procedure done. Um, so I'm going to continue down to the waterfront in Aurelia and check out some stores I wanted to see. Uh, it's fairly late in the day, so most mostly things are closed except for the grocery stores. 
and the McDonald's so I got my avocados and my tomato and my zucchini so I can make zucchini pasta and tomato and avocado and red onion which I love uh, with my steak and mushrooms I'm trying to decide whether I'll go vegetarian tonight or steak probably steak because I need my protein I'm losing weight but I still need to uh, get a lot of protein as well into my diet whether it be animal protein or vegetable protein broccoli has a lot of protein in it as well so I roast a lot of broccoli in the oven with olive oil and garlic or garlic salt and onion salt it's delicious roasted um, I eat a lot of sweet potato toast or different things with sweet potato you just slice the sweet potatoes thinly and you can put different things on top I love the uh, little clover leaf they're about this big the little clover leaf with olive oil uh, that's even in the military diet too. not the version with olive oil but I mean those few calories you're getting you're getting it with olive oil so I mean your body does need that trans fat anyway so it's it's a good thing to lose weight as well I did manage to take off 25 pounds like I said but I'm still packing on a few that I don't need for health reasons uh, mostly uh, my dad got diabetes really badly and ended up having one of his legs taken off uh, because of gangrene with diabetes a lot of people later on in life develop gangrene so they started with his foot and ended up taking his whole leg up past the knee so he he is in the home now with Audrey my stepmother but um, they fitted him with a, a prosthesis but he uses his wheelchair I'm not gonna end up like that I take after my dad's side more than my mom's side my mom was tiny but my dad is I didn't actually I fought it all my life I kept the weight off until a few years ago even after my pregnancies I got it off and I gained naturally but it's been on for a few years and I'm getting up there so this isn't just for looks this is for health reasons uh, I don't I was pre-diabetic a gestational diabetes during my pregnancies as well so I'm getting it off and keeping it off uh, eating healthy it's not a big issue for me because I've loved fruit and vegetables more and of course the lean proteins uh, chickens I love chickens and tunas and seafood but I love my steak I'm, I'm a meat and potatoes person too it's just do it in moderation I did try to go vegan for a long time but if it even means becoming a farmer again and keeping the odd cow around if we're so worried about uh, I don't know renewable resources yeah absolutely vegetables are the way to go but uh, a lot of us are raised on meat and I find it a very hard habit to break out of and I've tried several times so I love hummus I love chickpeas I love all that vegetarian stuff but nothing beats a good steak once in a while or a nice roasted chicken or some beautiful seafood uh, Cuba my god the seafood there was just delicious they cooked their squid with uh, tomato and they cook their rice with beans black beans and they serve a side dish with tomato sliced thinly with cucumber oh my god how delicious I posted the pictures on my Facebook if you want to check that out and my Instagram and that whole table full of food in Cuba was six dollars it was a massive serving of course two people could have easily enjoyed it and if not more um, I ate only a quarter of it and they just heaped the plate full of food so that's the average meal in Cuba so if you go to a half-decent restaurant whether it be in a pensione or at a full seafood restaurant there is amazing food in Cuba you can't just stick to the resorts for their buffets you have to go outside the resort to find the restaurants uh, the next time I go when I make the money with my business I am planning a trip to Havana and um, meanwhile thrifting is my lifestyle because every dollar I make 50 cents goes into that jar for travel so after expenses of course so uh, okay well I'll uh, 
I'm going to film again once I get down to the waterfront and I can show you some of the beauty in Aurelia. Not going to the casino, my friend loves the casino. Excuse me, I posted some live videos on my Facebook of us walking through. Um, maybe in the future I'll do another one on here. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.